10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4. Hey everybody, Jeff here with another quick space video. Uh, this time I wanted to take just a couple of minutes and talk a little bit about the recent SpaceX landing and uh, commercial space flight and reusable rockets in general and why that was such a big deal. Um, a lot of you have probably or may have heard uh, about the big news last week uh, where SpaceX, the private space corporation, private space flight corporation, uh, managed to land their Falcon 9 rocket vertically on a barge in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean uh, after launching a cargo capsule to the International Space Station. Uh, this was a huge deal, um, both for SpaceX, which has been spent four years trying to do this, uh, and for commercial space flight and for space flight in general. Um, but why is it such a big deal? Basically, uh, as it stands now and as it has been historically, the way that you get material off of the surface of the Earth and into orbit or into uh, deep space is by building a big honking rocket. A huge aluminum tube with uh, packed full of uh, expensive rocket fuel. Uh, you light it on fire, the fire comes out the bottom and pushes the rocket up out of the Earth's gravity. Um, Earth is a big planet, and so it takes a lot of force to get up uh, out of the gravity well, as it's called. Basically, got to climb that hill to get up to uh, orbit. So rockets are big, and rocket fuel is very explosive and very expensive. Um, and so until now, basically, what would happen is you'd build your spaceship or your satellite or whatever, and you'd mount it on top of a rocket. You'd launch the rocket uh, up to the edge of space, basically the top of the atmosphere. And then you'd detach your uh, whatever you were launching, your spacecraft. And then that would have a smaller rocket on it that would push it away. And then the main body of the rocket that just got you out of the Earth's gravity well would fall back into the atmosphere and either burn up in the atmosphere or slam down into the ocean and explode into a billion pieces or otherwise be destroyed. Um, so very wasteful. Uh, these rockets are tremendously expensive. Uh, the, the remaining fuel inside itself is very expensive. Um, and of course, not very environmentally responsible to keep blasting these rockets into the Atlantic every time we launch something from Cape Canaveral. Um, so the dream of reusable rockets has been around for a long time. Um, and the primary reason that it's such a big deal is because if you can land your rocket again and reuse it, you save a ton of money. Um, having to build a new rocket for every launch is like having to buy a new car every time you want to drive somewhere. It's, you know... You can only afford to do it for the most important stuff or the things you think you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck for. And it basically takes governments that have access to millions and millions of dollars to, to get these, uh, to launch anything off of the planet. Um, if you can reduce that launch cost significantly, then you open up the field of space to uh, many more people, entities, corporations, you know, um, organizations, all kinds of stuff like that. So basically, uh, SpaceX managed, it built this rocket called the Falcon 9. Uh, it is a totally regular functional rocket. It's actually a very big one. Um, it just carried a big supply uh, capsule and got it out of the atmosphere and into orbit, and that capsule has just docked with the International Space Station a few days ago. Uh, so a, a, you know, functional, necessary commercial mission. SpaceX was paid by NASA to, to make this supply run to the International Space Station. And after it released its cargo, the, uh, the Falcon 9 went up like this, popped off the top, flipped back like this, and came back down through the atmosphere. Uh, and 
came down and landed vertically on a barge in the a remote controlled ship, which is itself pretty cool. It's basically just a flat landing pad that they drove out into the middle of the uh, Atlantic. Uh, landed itself on this barge uh, straight up and down um, with rockets. So uh, this was tremendously exciting. Uh, SpaceX has been trying to land it on a barge for a long time. Uh, finally succeeded. Uh, other spaceflight corporations are trying to do the same thing, basically. Uh, Blue Origin has successfully relanded several rockets, but they're much smaller rockets and didn't go all the way up into space proper. Uh, so this is the first one that was able to do that. Um, SpaceX managed to land a Falcon 9 uh, on the ground, I believe, at the end of last year, uh, which was a huge deal itself. Uh, obviously, you can land them on the ground, that's pretty good, but managing to land it on this barge uh, was just a, a display of uh, skill and technology that's uh, hard to ignore. Um, this is a huge deal, not just because of the technical know-how that is necessary to get a rocket to, you know, land correctly on a moving platform, you know, a few... 100 feet across after coming down out of orbit at speed uh, but because with the reduced cost of launch the frontier of space will be opened up to so many more groups individuals organizations and governments um, Falcon the SpaceX can start contracting out these Falcon 9 flights and we'll be able to launch you know equivalent payloads for a tenth of what it would normally cost because you don't have to buy and build your own complete rocket to get it up into space. Um, I kind of liken it to, you know, the invention of the railroad. If it was, you know, 1790 and I wanted to ship a ton of coal from Georgia to California, it'd cost me an arm and a leg. It would not be economical. I'd have to, you know, go out there and mine the coal or whatever. But, uh, you know, because I'd be shipping it on a, in a covered wagon or something. Uh, whereas once they invented the railroads and you had that infrastructure, um, even though that it's costly to build a railroad out there um, and costly to build a locomotive, once you have that infrastructure in place, the cost of actually doing the commerce between the two uh, points, the cost of transportation, drops so significantly that it opens up the entire place to uh, to exploration. I mean, it was really the railroads that kind of drove the development of the West. And I think that the reusable rocket has the potential to be what drives the development of, uh, of commercial space. Uh, and I will talk more about commercial space in, in other videos because it's a very important uh, recent development. Uh, in space exploration. Um, I see I'm already running long on this video. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, hope you all enjoyed it and I didn't ramble too much. Um, big shout out to co-pilot, co-host Tommy the Cat asleep on top of the couch there. <laughs> all right. Have a good night, everybody.